What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Tech and Tactical. Um, this is going to be just an introduction to this watch. It's going to be my initial thoughts. Um, there's a lot of features on this watch, and there's no way um, that I can go over them in 10 minutes, and I honestly don't even understand all of them yet. So this is going to be a first video um, just to kind of give those that are looking, maybe looking at this watch, just a quick look. There's a lot of videos on this um, on this watch on YouTube that are like 40 minutes long. So this is just going to be like an overview. So what do we have here? We have the range man. Um, this thing, honestly, it, I, I was really looking for a G-Shock for a long time that did literally everything. And they finally made one. They finally made one that like does everything. Um, what do I mean by that? All right. So first of all, I mean, I wanted one that had the normal watch functions. Okay. Like this one is a world time. So that's the time in LA, you know, in Los Angeles. Uh, stopwatch, you know, normal stopwatch. Uh, timer, you know, like most watches have. An alarm, like most watches have. I mean, this thing has like five of them. Um, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. So I wanted to watch with the normal stuff and I wanted like the G-Shock look and feel. Um, I do like these and they're not my favorite watches, but I do like these. And this one in particular I like. I think it's just gorgeous. But um, not only that, but it's got the uh, atomic timekeeping. So this thing will connect to the radio, a radio signal. Um, and actually reset itself every single night. So it didn't reset itself last night because there's no little bars up over here. Um, and I'll get into this in a later video. But it, it did reset on 320 at 1207. Um, so if I press and hold, this is, um, well, it went back anyway, but because it was the last one in the row. But if you press and hold from anything, it'll go back to your time. So, uh, Anyway, it's got the atomic timekeeping, so it'll reset itself. And it's solar. Okay, now there's been other G-Shocks that were solar with atomic. Okay, and I really, really wanted to make sure it was that. Because you could be on a desert island with this watch and never charge it and never set it. And it'll essentially last, you know, for years and years. I mean, I don't know how long, you know, 15 years or something. You would never have to set it and never have to charge it or change a battery. Um, so anyway... Um, but it also has, and the earlier, just like I said earlier, this thing has everything. It also has the ABC functions, which is the barometer, altimeter, and compass. So it's got literally everything you can find, and it looks awesome. It looks really good. So the compass is cool, and I'll go into depth in a later um, review, but you can actually see in that little circle, you can see the north on that compass. And I'll tell you the degrees. I mean, it's very accurate, too. I've, I've um, confirmed it. Um, so there's the compass and um, the barometer. And the barometer has a chart up top, like a little graphical chart, where you can see um, the change over the last 48 hours. It's got the temperature. And it's not 78 degrees in here. Um, but this watch will not read... Um, you know, uh, accurately when it's on your wrist. And this thing was on my wrist, so it's much warmer. You know, it's probably 70 degrees in this house. Um, and then your your barometric uh, barometric pressure, and then your altimeter. Um, so I'm at 120 feet. That's probably a little low. I think I'm at 310 feet where I am right now. Um, so that's cool. So again, I, I just uh, I didn't want to get go into depth in this in this video, but I wanted to show you guys everything it has. Um, which is cool. So if you keep pushing this, it'll just keep cycling through the ABC stuff. So if you want to get back time, you hit mode. And there we are. And I like that it's really full display. So it's got Friday up top, um, March 23rd. It's got your battery life, which I've got high right now. And you can see that black bar where it says H. It's got your time, your day, your seconds. And then on the top, on that little circular thing, it has seconds going around. And then it says PS on the left here because it's on power saving mode, which means it turns its screen off at night if you're not using it. And then P for PM, because it's 6 PM where I am. This button down here is your light, your backlight. You're not gonna be able to see it, but that's a backlight, which functions very well, okay? And then it functions just like most of your other higher end G-Shocks. It's got the adjust up top where you set. It's got the mode right here. It's got the, the, um, the forward and reverse buttons, which are also your 
for your start um, stopwatch and whatnot. I really like the way the buttons look on this too. They're really nice. Okay, and there's the back. It's got that little range man cat on it. And then the band is probably the best band I've ever used on, on a G-Shock. You can see I wore it for a couple days, but I, this is new. I just got it, so I, I don't want to do a full review yet because I'm going to put this thing to its paces. But I'm really impressed so far. Probably one of the nicer, well, um, you know, certainly the nicest G-Shock I've ever owned. And this was a Christmas, or not Christmas, sorry. This was a birthday present. Um, I was able to get two birthday presents this year that I'm that are that are items I can review. Uh, this and I got a Benchmade um, Freak on the way in the mail. So I'll be I, the, if you're watching this video, you, I don't know that you're necessarily interested in knives. You might just be searching for this watch, but I've got a ton of other reviews on the channel. Um, so anyway, uh, that's that's what it is. That's you know that's it came with the very thick manual, but it's in multiple languages, so it's only like. You know, part of it. Actually, it is quite a bit of it, though. Yeah, so it's like this much. Um, and then it came with your, like, warranty card and stuff. Came with the, these items. And then it came inside of this. Just like other G-Shock watches, it's not a whole lot different. It says, let me see here, I think it says 300 is what it's, they sell for quite a bit less, but I think they sell for around 200 most of the time. I haven't looked. I had this watch on my wish list forever and somebody got it from me for my birthday, so. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I love it so far. You know, it's got every single feature that you could possibly want in my opinion. I mean, it even tells the, 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 darn, the darn temperature, you know what I mean? If you let this watch sit, like overnight, if I don't wear it and I let it sit on the nightstand, you know, I look at it, it'll tell me the temperature. So, I mean, if you put it somewhere, it'll read the temperature very accurately. It does appear to be reading very accurately in my house. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. So far, so good. I really like it. Um, thanks for coming. Please like and subscribe. Uh, put in the comments section what watch you're wearing right now and why. And if you are interested in this one or if, you know, you got your eye on something else, I'd love to hear your opinions, uh, you know, what everybody's wearing, what everybody's using. So uh, thanks again for coming.